Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hawa and I am the CEO of Santa Integrated Farm Enterprises. On this channel, we'll be exposing you to the various value chain that exist within the fish farming sector. We're going to be having a lot of discussion on how you can easily set up and manage your fish farm. We'll be taking practical, various practical, so many practical on how you can actually breed catfish, how you can grow catfish, how you can prepare your pond. We're going to be doing so many things, bringing you with new latest innovations that people are actually using in different countries that works for them and how you can apply them here as well. Even within the farm, we're carrying out different research in order to enhance and increase the profitability of the fish farming business. So please subscribe to our channel Welcome back to my YouTube you have channel and today we'll be taking classes on how you can actually identify a male and a female catfish. So whether you are a new farmer intending to go into catfish hatching or you are an existing farmer, this video will be very useful to you because you'll be able to identify and you'll also be able to uh, know a good egg when you see one so that by the time you hatch, you'll have fries that will grow very well and they'll be highly resistant to so many diseases. So right now, we we'll pick a female catfish. Now this is a female catfish. If you look at the genital opening here, there are two holes, the first hole is actually where they excrete from which is this tiny hole here why the second hole below it is where they actually expel their eggs from this is where the eggs come out when it is matured like in the river what happens in the river is a case where the female fish by the time she's ready she would just go to the bank of the river release her eggs there and then the male comes there to fertilize it so this is where the eggs actually come out from and for a matured female this genital is usually reddish. If you look at this, it is looking red like there's blood. There's no blood there. This only shows a mature female. Now let's take a look at a male catfish. A male catfish also has two openings. You can see the tiny one here. This is where it excretes from. Why this is where the sperm comes out from, where it fertilizes the egg in the river. However, for the artificial breeding, which you're going to see in our coming video, we actually get to remove the testes and then extract the sperm ourselves. So for the male catfish, the genital is usually longer. If you look at this, this is longer than what you saw for the female. For some male, it would even cross this fin, this fin right here this genital would cross it and to show a matured male the tip of this genital should be red you can see the tip the tip right here should be red that shows a matured male it's not about how big or how small the fish is that shows how matured it is no these are the things you need to look out for now when selecting the female you're going to use for hatching you need to consider different factors especially when it comes to the egg because the kind of fish you select for breeding is actually what determines it's a strong determinant not the only determinant though but it's a very strong determinant for the quality of fries or fingerlings you're going to get at the end of the day so what you do we're going to be um, showing this practical with two different fish so you press the stomach gently to collect the eggs so that you'll be able to assess and tell if the egg is good or if it's best. You just or press the stomach gently to collect the eggs. You can see with a little press here, you have some eggs right here. You collect the eggs. Place it at the back of your hand and then add water to it. Water creates a soft surface so that you'll be able to check the strength of the egg. Water also makes the nucleus visible. You would hardly see the nucleus, but the nucleus is just a tiny dot in between at the middle of the egg. 
Now, the first thing you have to check when selecting a female fish is the color of the egg. The egg can either be light green, dark green, it can be golden color, it can be golden brown as well. Different shades of green. But what determines it mostly is not just the color. Just make sure you don't have white eggs inside of the eggs. You also need to check the size of the egg. The size of the egg has to be uniform. You need to have almost all the eggs looking the same size. Not when you have some looking tiny and then some looking big. You need to check the strength of the egg. And with the water we've placed on my palm, it gives a soft surface. You would roll the egg from one point to another point. If you look at this gently, the eggs are rolling and they are not busting. When these eggs bust, it means the eggs are not strong and those eggs should not be used for hatching. You need to also check the position of the nucleus. It is best when the nucleus is towards one edge than it being on the middle. You can hardly see that with this video, but hopefully maybe with time we'll be able to um, have access to a camera we can use to show you this nucleus in particular. So that is how to select your catfish eggs for hatching.